Hi everyone, David from Nailbuster.com again. All right, so let's get just jump right into it. See why uh, why I think this uh, GUI suite will make your life easier. Um, what we what this suite we want to do is keep data and the actual components separate so that we're not you know getting all these all these hundreds of objects, all that kind of stuff. Um, and in general, what we'll be doing is we'll be using these uh, these objects, but uh, modifying all their properties using uh, the create um, properties in, uh, for the, each instance within each room. Okay, so let's just start. That's the best way to do it. So I'm going to make a test room. Room main. Let's just do 800 by 600. Uh, I'm going to keep the snaps a little tighter. Um, I'm going to background, change the color, uh, some olive. Okay, um, and then we're ready to start. So let's just start with a simple label. So I'm going to select the component. I'm going to go, uh, here's all the ones we've imported. So uh, a label. I'm going to drop it. And, uh, let's just adjust. You'll notice, and this gives us the ability of moving the label around. So I'm going to go here. And now, just having that component uh, instance really doesn't do much. What we want to do is uh, change the you know, change a creation code so that uh, the objects know what to do with the data. So they're like properties, let's say. Um, and for a label, there's not much. Uh, I mean, you can do some stuff, but let's right now, I'll show you, for example, I'm just going to paste this so it's quicker. Um, so you'll notice all these properties, they start off with UI and text value, the T and V will be uh, capitalized. It's, it's pretty much all the properties work that way. And uh, you'll see this is right. That, that'll be what the uh, default uh, label will be, and we'll right align it. All right, and uh, let's just run it and see what it does. Oh, this is right. Same. That's pretty straightforward. Um, now, by itself, that's fine. Now, let's uh, put an edit box right next to it. So, first, let me just uh, we'll work on this. So, we'll try something like this uh, Enter your gamer name. And we'll uh, make it longer. Next thing we'll do is we'll add an edit box. Uh, so that would be a uh, text box. I'll put that there. And we'll make it bigger. And we'll do a change of creation code now for text boxes. Um, I'll just hang on. I'm just putting the code here. So you'll notice uh, UI text value. Now we'll, we had another one here, UI text label, enter gamer name. And this is what happens when you pop up when you click that button. And you align, we can go, uh, we'll do far right. Um, we'll start off with just no text value for the edit box. And uh, we'll start. So let's just start. I'll show you how that works. And there you go, enter your gamer name. And when I click there, I can say, awesome dude. There you go, awesome dude, and it's right justified. Um, so, and that gives you the ability now. If I wanted to change it visually, I can go underneath, right click, creation code, and I could say, you know what, uh, let me do center. Uh, so, uh, the align, I'll do center. And let's do something interesting like uh, UI. I gotta read all the, it'd be nice if code completion could use custom um, things. There's a lot. Give me a second here while I look at all the things. So I'll do UI back color. So UI back color equals, and I'll do C green. A little ugly, but hey, uh, UI uh, text color. I'll make that white. And uh, why not? And uh, we'll just leave it like that for now. And let's run that. There you go, you'll see into your game there. Uh, cool guy. Pretty straightforward. Alright, so we'll leave that up there and put that there. Now let's get into some of the other components which are really nice that I like to show. Uh, let's start with a, uh, a radio group. Radio group is checkboxes. I mean, uh, I mean, they're in a group, so we'll uh, make it like that. Pretty good. Move it over here. And let's look at our checkboxes. I'm going to right click, go to creation code. Um, let's see. So I'm going to just do one where you select one only. So I'm going to go to creation code. I'll type paste this fast. You'll notice what we did here is items. So item zero is first. And these three is a charm. Text label is select one. 
and uh, we don't need anchors that's advanced we'll show you that in another video so UI's text label it has the three options I can go and run that and boom you'll notice it auto made the height and whatnot and all these colors were, were from our defaults that if you want to change you can change more like a theme so if you wanted to change you know the white backgrounds and whatnot you can change defaults or you can change them right into here in the creation code whichever one you uh, whichever one you want now for three items it seems a bit high so I'll just uh, shrink it down and show you what automatically it did for you all right well you'll notice there's a little bug not an arm thing but in the room editor it didn't save the settings so we'll go back in and of course I'll take that you'll notice that sometimes the room editor didn't, doesn't take the options unless you save it but there you'll notice it uh, it sized it up. The check boxes and whatnot, you'll notice uh, these are customizable by you as well. Um, the default sprite here, if you load the sprite, oops, sorry, if you edit the sprite, let's say is you get by default you get the uh, the off button, the on button, and the arrows. You'll see with the list box uh, items. All right, so let's get back into the room. So uh, that, that's a really cool. Uh, now let's do, let's get into um, objects. And one of my favorites is a uh, list box. Now a list box is uh, lots of items you can select. Um, what we'll do here is go like that. Um, let me grab my list box here and go with, uh, I'm going to fill the list box up. So I'm just going to go with creation code. Fill the list box up. Now here you'll notice I did a for loop just to give uh, the list box, uh, the items list, some info. Uh, I'll do a text label, must select. The alignment of the text, I can center it left or right. And button list and show arrows. All right, let's run that. Very powerful list box. You can do lots of stuff. And so you notice here uh, I can select and I can drag with the mouse up and down. Notice if I go down, it just kind of like pulls it and it'll release it, it'll go back up. Same with going down to the bottom. If I release it, it'll go back down. So it has that. Another nice thing it has is it supports like what you know you've seen on, on mobile and whatnot when you use a touch is that it flicks. So if I flick it really quick with the mouse, you'll notice it scrolls, flicks, or if I move slowly, it'll just move slowly. So flicking works. Really nice. Uh, again, you can change the color, change the text, simple enough. And that's a list box. Um, the other components, but in general, that's how you work with it. You, you drop components on, you can visually move uh, components around. Uh, changing the properties in the uh, creation is really all you need to do. You didn't actually touch anything there. And um, that's generally how you go about. Uh, now obviously we'll get more components and more stuff like that. Button is a big one. Um, radio group uh, I showed you. So, you know, I mean, just little things. Like say this radio group where, um, you know, you had uh, three selections. Let's say we want to allow it uh, multi-selection, right? And uh, all you got to do is, um, is select one property more. Or just change one property, I mean. Just come here, you'll notice I can just go UI multi select equals true. Okay, I can run that now. And, um, oops, oh, I flipped them around. Sorry, I didn't realize that was. You'll notice what's nice as well uh, when you do use the creation code, it's good to make the um, text value the first line item. Because notice when I highlight here, it should enter your game name. I know what that is. This one here, I really want to make the uh, thing, I should have made the. Uh, I should have made the first line just for visually seeing it uh, select one so I'd know that that was that list box. But um, so UI multi select equals true is really what I wanted to change here. And I'll just do it myself UI multi select. Alright, I'm back. I just forgot something. Obviously, when, um, when multi select is not true, uh, you have a select index to find out which one is selected. Now, because we can do multi select, I forgot that you need to also assign a checks box like this. You'll see what I'm doing here. So, you'll notice it needs an array uh, to match. So that when we uh, afterwards we want to scan and see which ones are checked and which are not checked, we need an array so that the multi-select works. So multi-select equals true also needs you to set up 
the uh, items checked array like that. And then I'll run it. And there you go. So now we allow the multi select on the grid as opposed to just a single select. All right, so that's uh, just getting right into it. I'll uh, start um, making a, uh, another uh, advanced one on, uh, on getting started with a sample project. Thanks.